Good evening. Police investigating the deaths of a mother and her daughter at a house in Southport say they want to trace a man who was a lodger there. The bodies of Angela Holgate and Alice Hyden were found yesterday evening. Officers are trying to find Barry Morrow, who they believe may be abroad. Stuart Pollitt reports. Since last night, police officers have been combing this semi-detached house in Southport for clues about what happened here. The bodies of 54-year-old Angela Holgate and her 75-year-old mother, Alice Hyten, were found here yesterday by Mrs Holgate's son-in-law. Officers are desperate to trace this man, Barry Morrow. He had been lodging at the house. Police now think he's left the country. Barry may have travelled last night um, from Dover to Calais and he's obviously in France but potentially he's got places where he could go in Spain as well. We know that he, he is, could be in Angela's vehicle which is actually missing from the property. It's a white Citroen vehicle. We think there's a good chance he's driving Angela's car. The reaction of people who live nearby is one of disbelief. Just generally shocked because again you don't really expect this to happen on your doorstep. I come past last night to about two in the morning, police everywhere. Shot, shot really. You don't expect it round here, do you? This sandwich shop is a stone's throw from what's now become a crime scene. The girls have been really um, quite upset. My granddaughter was last night, very upset. She's, uh, it, it actually frightened her. A post-mortem examination is being carried out this evening. Police said Mrs Hyten's husband, who's in his 80s, has been left devastated. Stuart Pollitt, BBC Northwest Tonight, Southport. A man's been arrested on suspicion of murder after another man collapsed and died at a party in Lee this morning. Police were called to a house on Bowie Street following reports of a fight at a party. A six-year-old man was taken to hospital but was dead on arrival. Players and fans united for a minute's applause for Gary Speed at Goodison Park in Liverpool today. His father, Roger, and former teammates led the tribute ahead of Everton's match against Stoke. The former Everton and Bolton player was found hanged at his Cheshire home a week ago. Fans remembered him fondly. Great memories, great captain that we got rid of him too early. Um, cracking fella. We sadly missed by everybody here. Yeah. Yeah. He was a great fella and he was a great manager. He'll be very well remembered and it's a very sad thing what happened to him. The first races have been run this weekend following changes to the famous Grand National Course at Aintree. The improvements aim to boost safety for the horses, but some campaign groups say they don't go far enough. David Jackson reports. Bella Briggs and Donald McCain. It's the McCain family. Victory for Bella Briggs at this year's National was a popular one, but not everyone was happy. Two horses were killed and several, including the winner, were dehydrated. Improvements have been carried out, seen for the first time in racing yesterday. Officials had studied footage of recent races and consulted animal welfare groups. These changes should be seen in terms of the, the long-term evol evolution of the race. You know, we never stand still on safety and these are just the latest edition of, you know, of how we're going to develop the race to make it as safe as possible in the future. The most significant change affects the iconic Beaches Brook, where the height and the landing site has been raised five inches. Protesters say not enough has been done. I don't think it's possible to make it safe for horses. The lower they make the fences, the easier they make it to ride. They still have as many horses racing. They're going even faster, so when they do fall, they land very dangerously. Course officials say they will continually reassess safety, but said it would be impossible to eliminate all risks. David Jackson, BBC Northwest Tonight, Aintree. The draw for the third round of the FA Cup was made today with some intriguing ties. Among them, Manchester City at home to Manchester United. And Fleetwood will take on neighbours Blackpool if they beat Yeovil in the second round replay. You can, of course, see the full draw on the BBC Sport website. Now, there are rumours of snow on the way. Eno, are they true? Yes, rumours of wet snow for some local areas. Yes, hello, good evening. It's been a truly horrible day of weather. Lots of um, blustery showers around through this afternoon. It was fairly cold as well. And I'm afraid I'm going to start my forecast with this. We have a weather warning from the wet 
wet met office even for snow i think we could see accumulations of two to five centimeters of snow on high ground over the pennines it's wet snow for some local areas as well and tonight we have got very strong westerly winds blowing these um, showers in from across the irish sea so uh, a combination of rain sleet and snow a cold night i suspect temperatures will fall below freezing so tomorrow do take care if you're on the roads first thing Ice could be an issue on untreated surfaces. Now, it's going to be a colder day tomorrow, I'm afraid to say. Uh, more wintry showers blowing our way. Still very, very strong winds driving the showers in. And yet again, I'm afraid it looks to be a mixture of rain, sleet and snow. And we could see these snow accumulations practically anywhere. Maybe wet, sloshy snow in towns and cities. A cold day. If you're out and about, you will need your umbrella and you will need some extra layers because look at the temperatures. No higher than four Celsius in one or two Lancashire spots. But the next couple of days after that, hopefully milder. Kate. You know, thanks very much. That's it. We're back at quarter past ten. I do hope you can join us then. Bye bye.